What a coming out party this week for Twitter. The social media phenom soared from the opening bell of its IPO. Whatever happens next to the stock, Twitter is already transforming the political world. The roundtable here to weigh in on that after this from our political director, Rick Klein. The biggest moment in Twitter history. Move over, Justin Bieber. Sorry, Prince George. You can't top the Obamas. And in tweet-crazed Washington, there may be no bigger Twitter celebrity than Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley. You think of your average tweeter, and I don't think that, uh, that, that senators such as yourself come to mind. But what is, that is because it? I'm 80 years old? Maybe that's part of it. Constituents ask... Grassley's tweets are the subject of endless as fascination. As this ex-prof of con law. Tough talk? Sure. <laughs> Tough to understand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then there was the famous time he informed the public about that thud he just heard on an Iowa road. We hit a deer. Well, in Iowa, you hit a deer, you assume it's dead. All 100 senators have Twitter accounts, as do 97% of House members and 49 of the 50 governors. Twitter has launched careers, as with Cory Booker, and it's ended them. Today I am announcing my resignation from Congress. When Senator Marco Rubio took an awkward swig of water on national television, his team knew the perfect response. National security officials used Twitter as an early warning sign and a valuable outlet. One of the most important, if not the single most important way to get your message out. Especially when you're a senator with vital information to disseminate. Let's see, tweet there, I'm being interviewed by A, B, C. For this week, I'm Rick Klein. That's at Rick Klein. <laughs> Thank you, Rick Klein. We've been having a lively debate during the commercial on whether or not Twitter is uh, helping or hurting politics, helping or hurting journalism. Congressman Keith Ellison, active user. Okay, first thing I got to say is at Keith Ellison, follow me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a good way to get a message out and to get feedback. So because if you just send out like a press release, that's sort of a one-way thing. But Twitter's two-way, so you can hear from people. I tweeted at the president the other day about the raising the minimum wage. We got a lot of follows. We got a lot of tweetbacks and had a real lively discussion. So real engagement. Uh, you know, we also saw the last presidential campaign, John Heilman, just the, the explosion yeah. of coverage on Twitter. Well, and, you know, it's, it, uh, to me, it's not a question of good or bad. The main thing it's done more than anything is it's kind of a, the latest in a succession of technologies that have sped up the news cycle. If you think you go back to fax machines, cable, blogs, F Facebook, now Twitter, right? And, and, and all of them in each iteration, all it's done is made, we used to talk about oh, the 24-hour news cycle, now we have a literally second-by-second second news cycle. Yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad for politics, but, it's, but it has changed politics well, a lot. Well, you know, not only sped up the news cycle, but also reinforces this tendency to chase after the, the, the brightest new object out there, brightest <laughs> new item. It's amazing how rapidly it goes. And I, I don't tweet myself, but I follow it because you can see where the debate is going. It gives you tips of what stories are hot and who's following it. But it does mean that sometimes it is a shooting star. Well, and within 24 hours, everybody has tweeted, and they're all said, well, move on. It, it does, though. I mean, I, I, I do not tweet um, and have never, I've, I've actually never been on Twitter. But, the, um, but I, I do think that it, it has the effect of making spinning less effective. Because if somebody's trying to tell you after a debate, for instance, that this is how it went and spinning, you know, there are all these other people saying something's completely different. But it's still different. a relatively small sample given right. the country. Well, I, you know, I, I think that uh, it's made spinning uh, more effective and it's also made it more instant. <laughs> You've got to do more spinning now because you don't have nearly the time you did before to respond to a crisis. You've got to do it in, immediately. And it's also a great tool to reach young people. But is young it? You know, I hate, I mean, I hate to break it to you, it makes me cry too, but young people aren't watching <laughs> no, TV. No, you're, you're <laughs> they're, exactly you right. Know, they're seeing it through places like links on Twitter. There have no been question. academic studies on it, though, that show that it has uh, it contributed to the polarization. That, and, you know, that's our big problem people these days. People follow people they right. already agree that's with. Okay. Thank Everything you all very much. Polarization. <laughs> the polarization's contributed to the polarization. That's the last word today. That was a great roundtable. Thank you Thank all you very much. much.